I've really come to appreciate this building more and more the longer I live in it and work in it. It just feels right to study in, like the dimensions and proportions um, and just the look and the feel um, just seem to, seem to work. I suppose this building has now, in retrospect, to be seen as the first major modern development of the college in its transition to the university we have now. Possibly the single most exciting thing about this building is that it comes at a moment in Irish concrete technology where the, the concrete industry isn't developed to the extent as it is elsewhere. So when the guys come over they realise it can't be made in a factory. Uh, the concrete pieces, it can't be prefabricated, it has to be cast on site, so it's in situ concrete. So they all began to take it very seriously and put the concrete in very slowly and very carefully. So essentially this building is probably more handmade than the 18th century old library beside it. Looking back at it, we were just at the phase of uh, modernisation of the college. Uh, it was still small, uh, very uniform in terms of the kind of students uh, who, who came. Now that it is part of a much bigger complex, I think that it, it now fits into a quite different um, sense of the buildings. It was very modern, very new, and I love the nooks and crannies that are around the place. And the fact that it's different, no matter what way you look, it's very, very asymmetric. So when you look up from your desk or your study or whatever, it is just different and there's lights coming in from all sorts of different areas. It couldn't be further away from the, the front square architecture. Um, it's a statement, um, especially in a place like Trinity where tradition is something that is often celebrated to have something that is radical and new and also something that lasts, right? Something that uh, has stood for 50 years and still, you know, looks fresh. Uh, that's, I suppose, a good, a good first test of any building. I mean, I'm still taken aback that this is the 50th anniversary. I still think this is a new building. This was a real step change and a real leap into the, into the major um, uh, 20th century. So we need to make another incremental step change. So much has changed in the context of how people do research, how people learn, um, the publishing environment, the information environment, that we need to reimagine what we've got to be as bold as they were in 1967 for today.